Item Number SCP-2477 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All Foundation Containment Procedure proposals are to be monitored for SCP-2477 methodology. All proposals determined to be affected by SCP-2477 are to be denied. For a list of plausible reasons for denial, please see document SCP-2477 Thoth. Foundation astronomical assets are to maintain continuous tracking of all known Type A instances, as well as Type B C instances wherever possible. Engineering conference papers, presentations, and government proposals are to be monitored by Foundation web crawlers for pre-SCP-2477 reasoning. Mobile Task Force Psi-18 tenure trackers are to intervene with any identified researchers by providing financial incentives towards approved avenues of research. SCP-2477 positive researchers, internal or external, may also be considered for recruitment into the Experimental Containment Research Group. In the event of any proposal to create a singular, well-funded site for the storage of radioactive or other extremely hazardous materials at a national or international level, Mobile Task Force Row 17 not in my backyard, is to exert local political pressure to prevent the completion of such a project. SCP-2477 consists of a novel, non-obvious series of solutions of statics equations based on erroneous interpretations of Newtonian physics. The discipline of quantifying forces acting upon an object in equilibrium, typically used to examine or teach idealized versions of engineering problems. SCP-2477 are most often encountered in well-funded projects, dedicated to the complete containment or isolation of physical objects. As SCP-2477 solutions are derived from practical, rather than abstract theoretical applications, they are much more likely to be discovered by engineers than by physicists. Given sufficient resources, SCP-2477 can be used to construct devices capable of eliminating all outside forces affecting an object. These include gravity, electromagnetism, friction, physical contact, and particle-based radiation. These devices also fix the contained object to a single position by eliminating all inertia. Unfortunately, the anomalous calculations required to complete SCP-2477 solutions cannot be resolved within the reference frame of a fixed point on the Earth's surface. Instead, objects are fixed in place in comparison with some other astronomical object or reference point, and remain in this position with no regard for the movement of the Earth. There are known solutions to these equations, each associated with a different point of reference. Researchers using brute force computer analysis to solve these equations are significantly less likely to recognize this reference frame error when constructing an SCP-2477 based device. Please see Addendum SCP-2477 IOTA for a list of known SCP-2477 solutions and example uses. Addendum SCP-2477 IOTA First known SCP-2477 incidents Type Reference frame Contents Results A. The Sun, Solar Plane Gyroscopes used for the absolute calibration of navigation equipment Researchers at Corporation attempted to isolate six separate devices across a one-month period before the Foundation could intervene. Contents estimated to cross Earth's path every April through and are typically associated with the incidence of at least two cases of severe radiation poisoning in the urban region. B. The Milky Way Galactic Core Isolation Chamber for Super Collider Meant to improve detection and containment of antimatter Containment equipment levitated 5,000 tons of center banks and magnetic shielding in the upper atmosphere before disintegrating. Containment sensor packages continue to transmit data and are believed to be exiting the solar plane at 200 km per second. C. Center of the Universe LTB Model Unconfirmed Keter Class SCP Content spontaneously converted to coherent massive neutrinos, alpha, 
beta, gamma, and particles. Site was not otherwise damaged. All involved containment specialists were indefinitely reassigned to SCP-2477. GOES satellites identified a burst of radiation traveling towards the Crab Nebula at point 11C, 11% of the speed of light. Attempts to recontain SCP are considered unfeasible. D. Unknown. A manned spacecraft intended to test inertia-free launch conditions, with four crew. External observers noted a rapid acceleration of movements within capsule, accompanied by a visible blue shift. The capsule then dematerialized, leaving a permanent visual afterimage. The flight recorder continued transmitting for hours afterward. Selected contents are available in document SCP-2477-D 1953. Document SCP-2477-D 1953. Title unavailable. This document has been archived due to limited requests for access. Document SCP-2477-D 1953. Selected portions of the mission log of Colonel the following statements were transcribed from time-stamped audio logs, stored on reel-to-reel -reel magnetic tape. These recordings remain undeciphered for years after recovery, until a sufficiently powerful predictive decompression algorithm could be developed. From storage space for approximately 28 hours of low-quality audio information, hours of audio logs were recovered. March 1, 19 2751. We've come so far now. The sun and the stars are gone. The night sky doesn't seem any brighter, but Major says it seems more red. Maybe she's right. The Earth's come along with us, or at least a pale shadow of it. We left the capsule months back. We can flit around anywhere we want, faster than you can imagine, but we can't touch anything outside the capsule. No response from anyone, nothing over the radio since the launch went pear-shaped. Everything and everyone out there is slowed to an infinitesimal crawl. July 15, 2000 174505 Everything that was blocked from the sky is gone now. Everything that was under a roof, or a cloud, or a damn bus stop, all gone. Pure black. The people we love move in and out of the shadows as the years crawl on for us. Mostly in. It's hard to watch. Everything that was in darkness is gone too. We can blaze through the nighttime cities, but anywhere out in the country, or out at sea, nothing. An entire hemisphere disappeared behind us years ago. January 24, 2000 1421-35 died today, or whatever moment today would have been for her. She was sitting out in the sunlight. She looked ancient. I don't know. Maybe this earth's not real. Maybe the whole thing's a sick joke. I just… For all the years I watched her, I wish she could have seen me, just once. We voted, and the crew and I are all in agreement now. We're going to take a closer look at the device. We haven't been able to disable it so far, but we've got nothing but time. August 13, 10 11 45. Control, or whoever is there, please ignore the last messages. We've all come to our senses now, I promise. September 21, 27. There are planets built in the sky now. Dozens. Hundreds. The gas giants are looming over the horizon. It's hard to tell the moons from the worlds. They're so close, it's breathtaking. We should probably be afraid, but we aren't. I think we can go to them if we want. I think we have to. There's nothing here for us anymore. Goodbye, my friends. I don't think we'll be back.